What's up everyone? I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the first thing I want to point out by this phone is yes it is a top of the line phone but it is also a phone that is uh, you know it's made for everyone so you have all these advanced features what I'm going to uh, do first though is show you guys how to use easy mode so if I go into my settings and go up to my device I can go down to the home screen mode and actually switch this over so now if I am on my home screen, look at how big these icons are on the screen. Everything is very simplified and right there. I mean, you can go into more apps as well, but it easily lays out everything for you. Even if I am to go on to the internet, pull up MSN, instead of being able to pinch and zoom, I have these buttons down here to where I uh, zoom in and out, you know, with the plus and minus icon. It just really simplifies everything. Now to exit back out of here, I'm going to go into my easy settings, go to more settings, and we'll change the, the mode back to standard mode just for the purposes of this tutorial. All right, so another helpful thing on here before we get going with all the tips and tricks that I'm going to show you is going into the help menu. So the help menu on here has a lot of cool useful things um, a lot of the stuff I'm going to show you it will go into detail with as well you can go into the basics applications and really just learn all about the S4 alright so those are some cool features just to get you going on the phone if you're a little bit more advanced users you can, I can jump into what's all new on the S4 alright so the first thing is air gestures and air gestures will be uh, where you can pass your hand over the phone and it'll automatically, you know, like uh, go through pictures. Just as an example, we'll go to my gallery here and I can actually move my hand over the sensor and it'll go back and forth. Your sensor's up at the top of the phone up here, so it's not necessarily going to work if you go, you know, really low on your phone and your hand has to swipe over that sensor. All right, and the way you're going to turn that on is to go into your settings and go to my device go all the way down and go to motions and gestures and air gestures has to be turned on up here so you can do quick glance where you just wave your hand over the sensor and it'll show you if you have any missed calls or show the time or anything like that air jump I'll show you that in a minute air browse is what we just did moving between the pages it'll also uh, it'll also do like music as well so you can skip tracks that way you can also do air move to move icons, or as you might have seen on the commercials, air call accept, where you just wave your hand over the phone and it'll accept a call. Uh, so the other cool thing about that air gesture is going on to the internet. Go to my internet app here, I'm on MSN, so I can actually scroll through the pages by waving my hand over the sensor rather than having to touch the phone and this is a really cool feature you know in case your hands are messy say you're cooking and you wanted to look at something real quick you don't have to touch your phone you can just wave your hand over it instead and not have to mess up your entire screen alright and the next thing we're going to go over is multi-window so multi-window is uh, you're able to turn it on by pulling down on the bar up here so I don't know if you guys have noticed this but if you pull down with one finger from the notification bar it brings up you know just a few icons of things that you can turn on and off up here but if you pull down with two you can turn on and off everything on the phone so I can turn on multi window from the button right here and we'll go back to the home screen now I have this little tab on the side so what I can do is pull up two things at once. So I could pull up my internet browser and you drag these onto the screen. So I'll pull up the internet and then, well, let's see, let's pull up maps as well. So I'll pull up a map on the top here. So you're able to see, you know, um, two different screens at once. I can also flip these, you know, different ways as well. If I, uh, you know, if I'm doing something on the internet and the maps aren't as important, and then the other thing I can do is pull up the menu. You'll see two little bars right down here on the side. So I can flip-flop the screens. And then also, if I'm on this screen, which you'll see it's highlighted with blue when you tap on it, it'll, it'll show on the outside of the screen. 
I can hit enlarge and it'll it'll make that picture full sized you know if I wanted to close the other screen down so that's the cool thing about multi window you can also go in here and go to edit and they've added on some applications as well so I could have s memo and take notes on there um, I could take notes and be on the internet at the same time which might be useful for like a student doing research if you only have your phone on you and didn't have a computer um, and then you know it, it's it's just a really practical thing if you're trying to multitask on the phone and this phone is definitely practical enough to do that so if you want to go into the optical reader next this is another cool feature that will actually scan you know it'll scan like your QR codes and stuff but also if you have like business cards you can scan these with the optical reader and it'll import all of that information for you so it's really smart and you know a good way just to pull up all that information without having to type it in the phone now say you get a business card of somebody from a different country you can actually go down to your settings here and translate it from you know say I give my business card to somebody and it's in English and I needed to translate all of that information to Korean so I could go go to Korean down there and actually translate everything over and there's a lot of different options for how many languages you can translate this to um, so that's just a cool feature you know if, if you're using you know if you're a business traveler or anything like that or even if you just get business cards or somebody gives you their information and you want to put it in your phone really quick and another, another cool thing on here is as translator so this kind of goes along with it as well if I go into my translator I can actually you know I can speak in English here and then I can translate it to Spanish or a bunch of different languages so I can translate to and from all these different languages I could actually go in here and it has a, a, a pretty large list of the different languages that I can translate to and from so I'll go from English here and all I have to do is hit speak down at the bottom and it'll actually pull those up for me so another cool application is the S translator so I can go into my S translator right here and translate something from English to say I want to do it in Italian I can just speak into the button here just push that it says speak on it it'll recognize what I'm saying and it'll translate and then if somebody wanted to speak back say I was in another country and you know we couldn't understand each other they could actually speak in and push the Italian button and it would translate it to English for me so we could have a full-on conversation through S translator so it's pretty awesome especially for those world travelers alright so the next thing I'm gonna get into is probably one of the coolest features on here and that is the camera so this has a 13 megapixel rear camera which is probably what you're going to use most of the time. It also has the front facing camera as well. But they added on some cool new modes on here. So you go to modes, you have your auto, you have beauty face, which is going to kind of smooth out, you know, your, your face if it has any imperfections. Um, you've got best photo, well, which, you know, you can take a bunch of photos at once and then it'll kind of um, lay them out so you can determine which one is the best best face is kind of the same concept your sound and shot is a new thing on here so with sound and shot you can actually take a photo but it will record sound in the background so if I'm at a basketball game and I want to get you know somebody taking a shot and I want to have the crowd cheering in the back I can take that and have the sound playing so it's just a kind of an interactive way to take a photo now drama shot is really cool so if I was to capture a skateboarder or somebody running it would actually snap a picture a bunch of pictures very fast and then it kind of lays them out as you can see on here in uh, sequential order so it'll show them in action the animated photo on here is your GIF files you know just a moving photo and then you've got rich tone HDR which I absolutely love that's one of my favorites it really brings out the great tones in every photo eraser on here that'll show if anything's moving in the background 
you can tap on it, it'll highlight it and erase it for you. You know, if you have somebody try and photobomb you in the back of the picture, it can erase that for you. The panorama on here, that's self-explanatory. You know, you move the, the phone along and it'll actually create a larger picture for you if you're out, you know, in the, the wilderness and you want to get a cool landscape shot. It's awesome for those. Sport shot is just going to be a quicker shot. And then the night one is going to have a little bit longer exposure to bring in all of the light to the camera. Something added on here now, um, you have this mode where you can actually pull up yourself on the camera as well as another person. So as you can see up here, this, this is stamp right here. I can make this bigger and smaller. Um, I've got a camera in front of me, so you can see my door back there. But I can snap a picture or record with, you know, myself back here. And then I can have somebody else in the photo as well. So I can uh, do either one of those. To remove the stamp, you just hit this double camera icon right here. And it will bring you back to the regular camera. So that's a very cool feature where you can, you know, get, get yourself in a shot. If you, you're taking a picture of three other people you're with, you can still get in the photo. And then the last thing I'm going to show you here is group play. So group play is a really cool option on here. For if any of your friends have a, a Samsung device, you can actually go on group play. And you can create a group for all of your friends. Um, right now I'm going to just hit create a group. It will turn on my mobile AP. So basically that's just saying it's creating its own Wi-Fi. It's not going to use any more of your data. So using a connection from phone to phone. So I can share music, share images, share videos, share documents, and we can even play games against each other. So if I were to share music on here, it'll actually make it so the other people's phones will be in sync with my phone. And like I could share this song right here and we could... I don't have any music on this phone, but we could actually play it through all of the other phones. I'm going to select this right here just for the sake of, of seeing it. So it's playing. It says I'm the left speaker right here. And I can actually change to the right speaker. Um, being the one that created the group, I could choose you know, any, any speaker that I want for the different phones. And we could actually create a surround sound system with our different phones. So it's a pretty cool feature on there. You know, if you're in different rooms and you all want to listen to the same music, you know, if you want to do that with a video, you can all play. You could have five devices laying by each other and play a movie on there, and it would actually show it on all of the devices. So it's a pretty cool feature on these phones. I am going to go over one more app on here that's cool that is a standard app on these phones. It's called S Health. And so this basically has, you know, a built in pedometer. It has, um, a calorie counter basically just uh, it's it's just a fitness app on here but you know it's built into the phones now which is awesome and it can actually store all of your your information about your height your weight um, what type of activity you want to do and you can make it as simple or as challenging as possible now I don't know if you guys see up here but I do have the group play icon which is all the way on the left right here and I did not close out of that. So what you can do is hold down on your home button. It will show you recently used apps. And I'm just going to swipe and close out of that. And now it is closed on the top there. So that's all I have to show you on this. For There's a lot of cool new features. And definitely, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. And I'll try and get those answered for you.